Yo, what's up guys, my name is HeroChow, welcome to 250 kills of the Twin Furies and I've done this on a 50% drop increase as you can see on the screen right now. I'm going to jump into my fastest kill of the Twins and you can skip it by clicking on the annotation which is on screen. I don't want to go too far in depth about the Twin Furies because this is meant to be a loot video and not a guide. But I can scratch the surface for a little bit and go over the basics. So the Twin Furies have a set of attacks which are not that difficult to keep up with. At first the white twin will be jumping from wall to wall which you can easily sidestep away from. She will always do the same sequence so it's really predictable. After this attack always try to get them back together so you can double hit them. This also means dealing very nice damage and getting some pretty awesome heals. For their next special the red twin will jump up into the sky and will be shooting stuff from the ceiling. If you go underneath the boss however she will not hit you at all and you can still hit the other one because she will follow you. This attack will go on for a set amount of time and right before or just after you can click the red boss again you should berserk giving you an edge for the next part. In this next part they will jump towards the center just close enough together that you can still hit them both. With Berserk and a well-timed threshold, this means you will hit into the 10Ks, giving you very nice damage and of course awesome healing. These three attacks are their cycle, that's all, and they will pretty much follow it every single time. If you go in challenging mode however, they will also throw bombs, but you should really check a real guide for that, that would be a much better idea. In this 250 kills, I've only received two special drops, a Dormant Anima Core Body and a Blade of Avarice. These two drops are special drops from the boss, but they aren't that expensive. Um, the rest of the drops I've gotten from these twins were very consistent though. They're pretty decent drops, sometimes exceeding 250k on which my beam of light was set. Quite a few drops actually went over this threshold, as you can see in the video right now. These are not all the drops that got a beam of light, but it's just a small glance of how many times it happened. So after doing this for 9 hours, killing 250 furies, this is the total loot I've gained from these twins. As I said before, the special drops unfortunately are not that special in price. However, it's still decent. Although I have to say I'd rather get an ashes drop than the body. And now it's time for the big number. The total value in the price track counts up to 37.8 million coins. This is actually a pretty nice loot for the 9 hours I've been working on these. Of course this 37.8 million is including specials and without them it's actually 36.7 million. After selling everything, which went surprisingly close to mid price every single time, I have a nice base to make some calculations on. So for the 9 hours I've been working on it, I've gotten a total of 36.5 million coins. This is without the special drops. This means that it's divided by 9, has gotten me to a 4.05 million coins per hour. This should be a consistent amount because I have not included special drops in this. If I do include special drops, it's actually 4.17 million coins an hour. Of course this is not saying much at all, because I could have gotten a Crest of Zamorak, which is almost the only interesting special drop they drop right now. As it stands right now, that one will go for 10 million coins, which means your GP an hour will drastically increase. Besides the regular drops, of course you get some seals as well. These seals actually give a decent amount of reputation, so it would be a waste to not turn them in right now. Unfortunately, I'm not able to give them to Zamorak, but I can give them to Vindicta. The stack of seals I got actually got me 1870 reputation. This is actually a massive amount and got me over the threshold for the toy and for the 75% increased drop rate. And the toy is actually pretty awesome. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know by commenting or giving a thumbs up. And if it's enjoyed, I will definitely try and make a 250 kills video on Vindicta. Especially because I'm so close to the 100% increased drop rate right now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!